but hey, we're the first ones out there doing this. I'll actually post it over here after I checked it out. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back. I'm on my way back uh, to the house from a uh, trip. I just came back. That's my ride for today. Asked uh, a little bit of information what uh, what we see in the head of the display right, right here. So let me explain to you uh, pretty much what we see. It's pretty much a reflection. It's a condensed version of what we see over here. All the primary uh, flight uh, display we get to see in the head of the display, and here it's a monochrome uh, green color, pretty much. From the airport i think the train to the house so i'm walking back to the house now should be there in a few minutes take a shower and heading over to mr cycle fanatics john together we're going to be installing the harley davidson rockford fosgate audio system for my 2022 lowrider st <laughs> so a small background to this whole install I was pretty much uh, one of the first to get uh, the Lowrider ST in uh, Gunship Gray in New Jersey. Uh, being uh, friends with John, uh, as, as you know, John has started lately a new relationship with uh, Harley Davidson, corporate Harley Davidson. They follow his, his uh, videos and I'm in his videos, we ride a lot together. So they actually reached out, reached out to John, suggested and asked if I would be, you know, Sandy from Holy Ship would be happy to get an audio system and to do the install together and post the video out. So of course I was delighted and thrilled and of course they said yes. I pretty much got this audio system pretty much when dealerships are starting to get these uh, audio systems. So that being said, we're gonna be pretty much one of the first videos of uh, the install. It's a great opportunity being first, but there's also a disadvantage that there is no uh, literature, there's no uh, footage, there's no videos out there explaining how to do. So we're pretty much going to be the first one doing it and learning by ourselves. So for that, I actually printed out maintenance manual or instructions uh, that I got uh, a copy from that from Harley Davidson. I will link down by the description the link. So if you want to do the install yourself, go ahead and click and download it and print it out so you have reference. I will try to follow as much as I can, as close as I can to the procedure and to the instructions in this in this manual. So it's gonna take a little bit uh, a little bit longer. You won't probably won't notice it because I'm gonna be editing it. So it's all smooth. We might make some mistakes, but hey, we're the first ones out there doing this and be patient with us. If I'll need any further updates, if we did a mistake or something didn't work out, I will post a second video letting you know what we need to do better, what we need to do differently. But anyway, let's hope this uh, install goes easy, I would say. Now, I don't know if Harley meant for this to be a do-it-yourself install or they want only the dealerships to do it. From what I've seen, they they categorize it as three out of four, the skill level. So I pretty much feel comfortable doing, I've actually installed on my electric light standard, I installed a Sony system, uh, speakers and systems. So I feel comfortable and John feels comfortable. So we're going to give it a try at the end. I'll let you know how difficult it is. And if I recommend that you try it yourself or just let the dealership do it. So before we even go and start installing, let me just show you what get what you get in the box. Okay, you get the wiring, the electrical wiring over here. These are the wirings that are pretty much going to connect uh, the audio system to the front fairing. There's a little splitter power source. And then there's another part that goes 
at the battery area. So these are the two uh, wires or the bag of wires. And this is the audio system itself. Let me take it out. So you see. Okay, so this is the actual audio system when it's in the fairing, two speakers. I think it's five and a half inch and there are tweeters also. I'm not quite sure about the specs. I need to check it out. I'll actually post it over here after I checked it out. And there's obviously the vent that goes through the front fairing. Let me flip it over. This is the side that goes in front. Turn it over. And this is the actual amplifier. Rockford Fosgate. And that's all pretty much you get in the box. From what I think is that uh, it looks pretty easy to install. It's pretty much plug and play. There's just one area we need a little bit of attention is when you need to configure one of the uh, plugs to modify the plug. So we'll get to that very soon. Okay, so as I said before, we're gonna follow the instructions that come in the manual. First thing first, re remove uh, the main fuse that's over here on the left side of the bike. For that, we need to take the seat, take the seat off and remove the side, the left side cover and the right side cover as well. So the battery is right underneath over here, right underneath the mono shock underneath and the only access is from the side. You take the top off because we need to work on this braid over here, this plug. And we also need to get access to the terminals. Okay, so this, this big huge plug or the fuse box is connected to the right here, that clip. I pulled it out. Now the fuse, the main fuse is right underneath this cover. So I need to remove this cover. Now the fuse, the main fuse for the bike is disconnected. Now disconnect the negative or disconnect this from the top or from here. I'm gonna go from the top here. plastic cover that's right here. For that, we need to move these, these wires. These wires that are connected, we need to move them away and then to, to be able to move this whole cover. This just snaps out, snaps out, move it aside. And also, this is the ABS right here. This is the ABS, part of the AB, ABS wiring. Move that away as well. off now I can take this whole cover off tab over here on the top try to figure out. is it over here oh here's the one there's one on the bottom right here see that metal one there you go one let me find the one on the top I think it's right here I need to lift it so after lifting this tab right here, lifting it up. I was able to wiggle this right and left or forward and backwards and get this last, this last groove out of uh, the back over there. Once it was all out, I carefully pulled this whole thing, whole thing out, wiggle it around and move it out. Wanna make sure that it's not touching the wires and the wires are not in the way. And also the, the oil dipstick might be in the way, if you need to, you take it off. I was able to just wiggle it around, just pull this whole plate out. You see this part over here where it says warning? That's exactly where it's protecting and covering 
the battery terminal over here. This battery terminal. And now with just a screwdriver, unscrew it and you can see I actually did it. Now we're gonna, the fun part, we take the fairing off. Start with the windshield, unscrew these four bolts. And these two you keep for last, let's do that. Now the windshield is off. Next is taking out these four bolts. One, two, three, and four. And we need these two. Five and six. These I'm using a T27, a Torx 27 for this. These two bolts, the bolts that I took just took off the fairing, are different than the bolts that hold the windshield. So make sure you keep them separately. And I'm specifically leaving the top one to be last, because I have a feeling this is the one that, these two top ones are the ones that hold the whole fairing. So the minute I take this one off, Get this one out, the whole fairing is gonna come come out like falling, so. Okay, we're at the last bolt that's bearing all the weight. This is out and John's gonna pull out the whole, is it? Yeah, and it comes out. And just unplug, there you go. So, there you go, wow. Next thing we're gonna do is take this inner inner fairing, vent fairing off, right here with these tabs. One, two, three, and four. And this is exactly where the new audio system is gonna be connecting. And soon we're gonna be into the wiring. Up till now, it's, it's going okay. Not too complicated. So let me take, uh, disconnect this tab, disconnect these, take these out all four, and then pull this whole fairing backwards. And it just popped out. I just like literally pulled it towards me. I was wrong, it's not backwards, it pulled it towards me. Now we need to inspect these four tabs to see that they're intact, because if some of them are missing, actually the kit, the kit comes with these replacement tabs. Now we're gonna be installing uh, the audio system, pretty cool. Okay, we're back to the outer fairing and there's uh, a little instructions over here say to, to remove the clip nuts from here and here. And the way to find it is you pretty much peel, raise the gasket and remove this little clip nut. So I'm gonna do that right now. They say to use, using a pick. Let me get a pick. Okay, this part is a bit tricky. This clip needs to come out of here. Now, the way I did it, gotta be very careful, by the way, not to scratch anything right here. Better off taping it up. So better off taping it, taping it over here, and then lifting this part, the bottom, with a pick or with a very small screwdriver, then pushing this whole clip downward. Not, not yet, right? You see, I was able to get it out slightly gently and now push it all the way down from the back, pull it down and it comes out. A bit tricky, you wanna make sure you wanna put tape over here or like I use paper to protect, but that's a tricky part and you don't wanna harm this part. Now it's the electrical uh, part. We need to take this, this plug, disconnect it from the other side. 
So I think there's a little clip over here on the side that we need to move it and pull it out. Okay, perfect. We got an easier access. Good. Now we need to do a small, small modification. I think over here we'll see very soon. Next step is to take this wire that came uh, part of the kit. You can see it's the little harness that has the uh, okay jump jump cable. It goes in, and this part is the pin that goes into cavity 11 in this part of the harness so we need to find the cap we need glasses i need glasses for that to find a bay or connector number 11 and take the plug out and then put this inside okay guys this is the part where you need to be really really careful and make sure you get the right you insert the right uh pin into the right place if you flip this over notice this is the the connector that connects to the fairing as opposed to the one that goes to the body. This is the fairing part. Look at it and just check my orientation. I'm flipping it around, okay? The way they count it, I'll also put a little chart over here, is the top right is one, and see where the yellow arrow is? That's two, three, four, five, six. You see the five, four to six, those white things, those are the plugs. And then there's seven and eight. Next is nine is on the bottom. That's nine, 10, and you see that white plug? That's 11. Gotta make sure we take that plug out and insert the yellow and red pin. Okay, next step after we connected connected uh, the proper wiring over here is putting the actual physical audio system in place through the four tabs the four tabs that we saw before these this is one the other one is, is right here in the back and the same thing on the other side three three and four away on the back and these two bolts that come with with the kit are torqued in and they're connected the light wire and put the fairing on. Started with the four bolts on the top. One, two, three, four, loosely put them in. And then the bottom two. And the final uh, tightening will be at, uh, at the end after I put the windshield on. So guys, we have put the bike together. Fairing, windshield, connected the battery terminals, put the main fuse back in, close the covers. That was the easy part. The, uh, the part that we were, not a were unable to complete, we don't have the proper tool, let's put it that way, to put the pin into that 16-way connector and into the 20-way connector. Um, we don't have the proper tool. We didn't wanna you know, risk breaking something. So we're either gonna get the proper tool or we're gonna go to the local Harley and let them finish the job. So guys, as you can see, I'm back home. I'm back home. I had to close up the bike without connecting the final, the final electrical connection, the power going to the, uh, to the audio system, unfortunately. We don't have the proper tool plug to get that plug out of the 16-way connector and to get the plug out of the 20-way connector. So we couldn't complete the job. We're gonna have to find, uh, pretty much take it to Harley. I scheduled an appointment for, they only have an appointment for, uh, for like two weeks from now. So for now, I'm just gonna have the, uh, the, <laughs> the audio system look at me, smile at me and say, hey, you don't get, you don't get any of me till you get that connected. So. I gotta say the install was was pretty straightforward pretty easy as you've seen just follow the steps the physical part of it was straightforward pretty much anybody with a set of toolbox with a toolbox a standard toolbox can do this job it's not intimidating the only uh place where i actually found difficulties i simply didn't have the proper tool you know to to splice in i wouldn't say splice in but to to modify that connector so 
But if you do have the proper tool, it's an easy job. Otherwise, let a Harley uh, dealership uh, do the job for you. So that's it for now. I'm gonna have a part two. Uh, once it's been installed and working, I'll uh, go I'll do a walk around. I'll let you see and hear uh, the sound. I'll take you on a ride with different windshields to see how clear it is, how loud it is. So stay tuned for part B of this video. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Right.